Hello YouTube! Today we will be talking about add-ons, specifically weak auras. <laughs> We're gonna talk about weak auras, right? Wait, am I even talking about you? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's go in game. Cut. Today we will be recording live talking about the essential add-ons for playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> we will do a special dive into weak auras. Do you want to say hi YouTube again? Hi YouTube! Any hi YouTubers in the chat? <laughs> That's good enough. Okay, let's go into game now. All right, so this is how my final weak aura looks like. I will, for the sake of this, for the sake of explaining things, copy this, first of all, which I'll call show strum. I will remove mine to never load so I don't accidentally delete something or move something which I will regret. This one show strum will move it here. There you go. And we can have this as a reference on the side as we make changes of things. I will have a link to my version of this week aura in the description. So first steps first to get a nice well put together weak aura that covers all classes, all specs. All you have to do is go to luxstars.com. Not an ad, by the way. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, we have Luxstars website right here. It's luxstars.com. And uh, Luxstars basically makes uh, packages for weak auras for every single class, every single spec. So if you're somebody who likes to uh, have a package to use ready for you, this is the perfect place. I will also show you guys how to uh, get a package and then adjust it to your own liking um, to uh, make it, for example, similar to the one I made or make it completely different to make it fit you. Pepper right, yes. Time to take notes. So you scroll down to your class. If you're a, a warlock uh, like me, you go here and there's three options here. And the main one that you need is the one called Warlock Core. I assume it's going to be similar with the other ones. You can download all to see what they all do, but it's the Warlock Core one that we need. So now we've copied this. We will remove this window here, close this. We will open Weak Auras and we will import, paste, import. Here it is. So we have mine here as a reference, and this is the new one that we just downloaded from Luxstar's website. As you can see, there's a lot more things happening in his. There's a lot more specs that are covered, a lot more other kind of abilities. Like I noticed uh, something that looks uh, Venthyr, perhaps. I'm not sure what that is. We will clean up the weak aura to our own liking. The first thing that I would do is uh, pick your spec for me affliction, right? Uh, so I would delete anything which is not affliction related. So I'm going to mark from here all the way down to here. All of these are destruction or demonology talents. I don't need those or abilities rather. So I'm deleting them. Now they're gone. I'm also going to delete all the ones that are covenants that I have not picked. So I'm deleting this, 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 this. I'm pressing control here to be able to press um, different ones. Um, I'm holding control to also uh, remove the con flags because we're not fixing destruction right now. Uh, we don't need uh, the pet related things and we don't need to track our mana either. Uh, now I'm going to right click and press delete all. Um, I also prefer to not have something that tracks my soul shards. Uh, you can if you want to, of course, uh, but I prefer just looking at my shards on my player frame, so I will be deleting that as well. Okay, might not look very different, as it's still mainly showing the abilities that are relevant to your spec, but it's uh, become a lot more uh, clean, at least in its menu, so it, it's easier to uh, move things around and see what you're working with. Okay. And now to some more adjusting, we will look at positioning. If you look at mine here, you see that I have changed the order of the different abilities. Uh, for example, mine goes Agony, Corruption, and Stable Fliction. The original is Unstable Fliction, Agony, Corruption. I will show you guys how to edit that in case you want to do it too. Uh, but of course you don't have to. You go into Display and into Position Settings. 
and you look at the X offset and the Y offset. You want the Y offset to stay the same in this case because the Y changes how high or how low something is, you know, Y axis. I hope you listened in math class. Uh, and then we have the X axis, which changes how it is horizontally. And uh, then we look at, okay, so we want unstable affliction in this case to be in the third position, uh, which is where corruption is right now. So you look at corruption, corruption's position is minus 25. So you want unstable affliction to take that spot instead. There we go. And also remember that unstable affliction was at minus 125. We want the agony to be where the unstable affliction was. So we're going to edit this to minus 125. And last but not least, we're removing corruption to uh, where the agony was. And that was minus 75. So we do it like that. There you go. So it's a, a lot of uh, moving things around pixel related. It's not uh, very complicated. Um, but it is quite a few numbers to keep track of to uh, swap them around like that. In some cases, you will need to move even more things to make it uh, how I made it. For example, my, um, my soul shape here, which is my covenant ability, I moved it from here to here, right? And I also moved my big cooldowns from here to here. In these cases, you have to consider uh, not only the position, but you also need to consider the width and the height because these are not all the same size. So, uh, for example, these ones here uh, in the main row are all 46 pixels wide and high, wide and long. <laughs> and in the one here, we have my big cooldowns that I decided to put as here. This one is 60. So uh, yeah, you can play around with positions. Uh, I made it what I thought was perfect for my buildup. Uh, minus 32, minus 55 for that one. And then the width and the height. You may need to also, if you're playing around with this and you're like, hey, like I'm choosing the same pixel numbers, but something is not right. Uh, it's just not behaving the way I'm expecting it to. You may want to look at anchor. Uh, because if you change where your uh, main uh, icon is anchored to it will change how it behaves regardless of what pixels you put here so for example if i put left here um, it's counting the pixels and the ability itself is anchored in a way where the left side is the original position if that makes sense if that doesn't make sense don't worry about it but you can change around here to make them uh, equal each other i would suggest just put everything center and play around with the pixels that way so yeah, if that was too much information, don't worry. You don't need to know exactly how that works, but it's something that you can play around with if you're having trouble making things uh, make sense. Because the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I ran into a few troubles uh, because the ones that are here on the sides uh, have different anchors. Uh, I believe Luxos has put it together that way because it's the smarter way to do that. But uh, not all of us are weak or are experts. Yeah, here, for example, this one is anchored as bottom left. Um, not all of us are experts. So what I would suggest is just put it center, <laughs> change it to center and change the pixels according to that. I think that's important to know because otherwise you will move things and it will not make sense to you why the pixels don't make sense. So there it is. So that was uh, position and size. The next thing, which is somewhat visual, is color. I was thinking of color because I changed my cast bar uh, from red to a more warlock color. To do this, you go down to... No, not this one. This is mine. Um, here, this one. Cast bar is here bar color and you change it to the color that you want so it's pretty simple pretty simple you can make it brighter and now it looks kind of similar to the one i picked something like that okay the next thing that you might notice is a bit different between these two is that the faded colors are behaving a little bit different so i have all the abilities faded and on the original one phantom singularity haunt and a few other abilities are not faded i prefer to have them all equally faded so what i did was 
I go into, for example, Phantom Singularity. I go into Conditions. In this case, the faded thing is something which happens out of combat. Let me show you how it looks in combat, actually, before I make any changes. Casting Haunt. Cast that. There you go. Everything lights up, right? The dots light up if you have the dots on the target, of course. And everything else lights up just, just because. And we have Drain Soul here. So yeah, this is how it all behaves in combat. So if we get out of combat again, we will look into the settings for fading. Here we go. You can double check first if your specific uh, ability already has the condition for combat, but you can also just make a fresh one. So add condition if combat, if in combat is false. So if you're not in combat, your alpha changed to 30%. There we go. And we do the same thing with haunt as well. Condition in combat if it's false, the alpha will be 30. And you can do this individually for every ability which you want to be faded. I know from playing around that Phantom Singularity and Valtaint, which are both which are both on the same talent row, will replace each other depending on which talent you pick you see uh, so you may want to double check the different options of different abilities that pop up so that they are also faded so for vile taint as well i would go in combat false alpha 30. that way everything is more consistent there you go so now you have all your abilities faded if you're not in combat if you enter combat everything lights up again I believe that is everything you guys need to know. To get yourself a weak or package, to import it, change sizes, positions, colors, to change the fading of the different abilities, looking at it in combat, outside of combat. So now you can play around yourself with the same class, different class, same spec, different spec and uh, if you prefer to have it done in the way that I have edited it I will make sure to leave a link down below so that you can copy my exact one. I will also have a link to Luxtas website because I do believe that he uh, deserves so much credit for making all of these different weak or packages for every single spec. I think what he has done is amazing so do check out his uh, website um, I know sometimes it's nice to personalize things a little bit, but especially when you play an alt, you normally don't even know how to play it. So you would not even know where to start editing it. And in that case, it's perfect to just, you know, go ahead and download something which already works perfectly. And uh, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> bye YouTube. L let's have a bye YouTube with you guys. <laughs> yeah, bye YouTube. And as always, remember to Comment, like, and subscribe. Is that what you say? Oh yeah, and the bell. Click the bell, I think. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and if you have any comments, uh, things that I can uh, talk about for, you know, potential next video, please put them down below as well. Any type of feedback is also appreciated. Thank you for watching. I, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Is this streamer a real person or an android? I'm an android. I'm the next level of AI. Hello.